Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a, a change. I normally do not start my videos without uh, my makeup on, but I'm doing a video today that I'm, I don't even know if I've ever really done this type of video before. And it's a first impression on the new Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. And this is basically um, kind of like a bumped up version of a tinted moisturizer. So somewhere in between like a BB or CC cream. And it's described as a tinted hydrating cream. So it's supposed to go from a gel to cream formula. And when I swatched this on my hand when I first got it, I noticed that it kind of felt like it had a matte consistency once it dried. I don't know for sure because I haven't tried it on my face yet. That's what I'm going to do for you guys today. So moving on to that, uh, the color I picked up in this, which again is just super unusual for me, is uh, number 7 tan. And I guess I could swatch this for you uh, really quick, you guys. This kind of reminds me of Bare Latte in the um, Bare Skin Serum, if you guys are familiar with that color. Um, I swatched the two shades down from this. Number six is called Ginger, and it's a very yellow kind of medium uh, tint, and it's very similar to Golden Medium in uh, the original foundation. And then there's uh, number five, and I think it's just called Natural. And it's very similar to like your medium beige, your uh, bare beige, bare natural, uh, those types of shades in the other foundations. So um, whenever I swatch those, I just, I felt like they were kind of light on me. Uh, so this is the tan on my hand right here. And I know you won't be able to see it too well. Um, but you can see once I blend it out, it matches like my actual arm and my neck. I also want to show you the brush really quick that they designed for this product and it is called the Smoothing Face Brush. Uh, I love the shape of it. It's basically like a really firm duo fiber brush. So it's not thick in the sense of uh, like their other synthetic brushes like the Soft Focus Face. Uh, it's just like a duo fiber, but it's it's a little bit more dense than like a regular flat top duo fiber if that makes sense. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this with the brush on one side of my face and then uh, this product with the Bare Minerals uh, Perfecting Face, not Perfecting, uh, what is this one called? Hold on. The Precision Face Brush. I don't know why I always mess that up. Uh, this is the one they designed for the Ready Foundation and I know a lot of you guys may already have this. This is a great foundation or foundation brush for liquid. So uh, since I know some of you may already have this, I'm going to do this on one side and then this brush on the other. So let's get started. Okay, so again, I have never used this product. I don't really know how much I need to use, um, how I need to apply it. So I think what I'm going to do is just take uh, the Complexion Rescue and put a dot size amount about this big. And then I'm going to take the Smoothing Face Brush and just kind of stipple it. And I guess I'm just going to start stippling it in. So you can see it's quite a bit darker than my face. Um, I was kind of worried about it being too dark, but... I've just been watching my videos and I've noticed that all of my um, foundations have been lighter than my body so I just went ahead and got the tan one and it actually matches really nicely. Um, okay so this is basically, it feels very hydrating which it, that's what it's supposed to be. I think I read online that it's supposed to increase your skin hydration by like 200% within a week of wearing it so um, it does feel very nice I would say that it is a little bit um, a little bit like heavier than a tinted moisturizer it does give a little bit more coverage than like the bare minerals tinted moisturizer that they have um, it feels really nice on the skin it almost has like a cooling effect when you apply it and it is kind of drying to like not completely matte but I would say maybe like a satin finish somewhere in between. So if you have oily skin, I wouldn't be afraid to use this. Okay, so this is with that one uh, kind of drop that I did. I think I'm going to try like a small, a little bit more just to see how that goes. So I'm going to use about that much and see how this layers. So I actually 
actually layered pretty good. It did give a little bit more coverage when I put um, that second dot on top. I'm not sure how I'm loving the brush right now. Um, we'll see though. Okay, so that is um, that side done. Pretty good, pretty evened out. Um, I'm gonna use uh, the complexion cream with the precision face brush now. And I think I'm just going to put it directly onto the brush. And I'm gonna do the same amount I used the first time and just start buffing that in. Yeah, I I don't know. I really like, I can already tell that I just like the precision uh, face brush better with it. I just, I really enjoyed this brush for liquid. It, it's like, do you see how quick that covered, like compared to what I had to do with the stippling brush on this side? This brush just covers a little bit more volume. Um, I don't know. So that's pretty much all I had to do for that side. Um... I feel like that one dot with this brush gave me just as much coverage as I did on this side. This side is also a little bit patchy right here. Um, and I feel like that's from the stippling fibers. So, I don't know. I feel like I like the precision face brush better. So, if you have it, you may want to try it out first. Okay, so that is, well, no, I need to blend this out a little bit more. <laughs> Okay, so that is the Complexion Rescue. I'm going to pop on some um, Bare Minerals Corrective Concealer. And then I think, I don't know, do you guys think I should set this with some Mineral Veil? I think I'm going to set it with a little bit of Mineral Veil. And then I have some errands I'm going to go run. And then I'm going to come back and let you guys know um, how it did. Okay, so I just applied my Bare Minerals Corrective Concealer in the shade Medium 2. And then I popped on some Hydrating Mineral Veil over the top of it. I think with any cream or liquid product, it's essential that you set it with something regardless of if you're dry, if you want the lasting power to stay. Um, I didn't apply any blush or bronzer over the top of it because I want to see how it performs. Um, so yeah, I am going to go have lunch and run some errands. And it is 10:21 right now, so I don't really know when I will be back. My overall first impression of it, I really like the texture of it. It doesn't feel tacky like a tinted moisturizer does. And it has that very smoothing feel to it once it dries. It does dry into a unique texture, um, almost like a velvety texture, but it's, it's not completely matte. Like I said, it's somewhere in between like uh, a matte and dewy finish. Um, and I think the color match was really good. Um, so this is number seven tan. I just went with a darker color and it, it worked out. So anyways, I'm going to go see how this does and I will be back later. Okay. So it is now 1:38, and I actually went and just got something to eat and ran around town and did some errands and it's actually raining today. So I got rained on a little bit. I put this to the test and it has held up pretty good. The only thing that I notice is it is a little bit shiny on my forehead and on my chin. That doesn't bother me. I have super dry skin. It's just my natural oils coming through. It's nothing that I would even touch up. Uh, overall, I'm super impressed with the way that this looks and the way that it feels. That's basically like the main thing that I love about it is the way that this feels it's just very smoothing like as soon as you put it on it's just very smoothing um, it evens out your complexion and it has a texture that um, it's unlike really anything that I have ever tried I can't really describe it it is like a gel like it says but it's also kind of velvety at the same time um, this is a product that I can see myself really loving in the summertime as well like wearing uh, to the beach you know on vacation or wearing on really lightweight days it does have SPF 30 in it so um, I, I think this is gonna be a really great product for the spring and summertime in general um, the only thing that I can really say is that I was more of a fan of the precision face brush with it than I was the smoothing face brush, which is the one they designed for it. And other than that, I, I think it's very unique. 
um, I'm a fan of it. I, I can't say anything bad about it at this point. Um, I know three hours isn't super long to test something out, but it's long enough to, you know, to give you an idea of how it's going to set on your skin and how it's going to wear for the rest of the day. And um, it's, it's done great for me. So if you have dry skin, you're really, really going to enjoy this, I think, because it's very hydrating as soon as you put it on. But if you do have a combination to oily skin type, it, um, it still has that, you know, that velvety texture to it. It's, it's not a dewy finish. It's, it's a more of like a natural finish, I guess I would describe it as. So, um, especially if you're a Bare Minerals fan, I would definitely recommend checking this out. If you already have the Precision Face Brush, definitely try that out first with this because I think it worked a little bit better for me. And yeah, overall, I'm liking it. I will keep you guys updated in future videos on this. And just let me know if you want to see more looks with this product. Um, I will have a blog post with more information about it listed down below for you guys. If you, if I forgot something, um, hopefully it'll be in that post. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about it, leave it down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.